Hey friends, today we're building a real-world rag chatbot that we're actually using in a business setting. A lot of YouTube tutorials fall apart in the real world. In this video, I will show you how to build a real-world rag that actually works using Vectorize. I'm going for a day to Lisbon, let me know what I can do. And we have real results with links to the real website. And you can see it's the ultimate four day in this bond itinerary. This is a blog from a friend that I've used for the demo. So you can see that the results are really accurate. You'll see how I loaded real data in Vectorize and how it powers a fully functional chatbot to NA10. No code, no complex API, just a practical foundation that works and give you something you can actually build on. And if you're into this kind of build, connecting real AI backends with low-code tools like NA10 and even building a full front-end with tools like Lovable. I have something coming. I'm creating a private AI community for serious AI builders, where we will go way deeper from workflows to full-stack apps production ready. Subscribe to the link below to get informed when we will launch. This is what we are going to learn in this video. How Vectorize works and why it's different from other RAG setups. How to load data into it and how to connect it to a chatbot via NA10. Let's dive in. Before I show you how Vectorize actually works, I wanted to quickly show you what a real RAG setup actually takes. This is a document from We Have Yet about advanced RAG techniques. So you need to make data pre-processing, chunking strategies, query transformation, query routing, metadata filtering, hybrid search, embedding model fine-tuning, re-ranking, context pre-processing, prompt engineering, and NLM, NLM fine-tuning. So that's a lot. Most tutorials keep all that, and that's why they are not accurate. And that's why tools like Vectorize matters. If you want to read the full guide, I have linked it down below. Now, let me show you how I used Vectorize to handle all that and have a setup working in about 10 minutes. This is a Vectorize interface and it's very easy to use. So if we want to create a rag, we go here, new rag pipeline, and here we implement the source and we can do it in many ways. Here for this blog, I have used the web crawler. So it has crawled all the page from the website, but we can use also fire crawl or upload files. So Google drive, well, many, many ways to do it. Then once we have our data need to extract and chunk. So there is two strategies, well, three strategies. First, Vectorize Iris and Mix. So Vectorize Iris is a fine-tuned model for advanced extraction. And this model can analyze images, videos, and any media. I have not used it for this case because it's a travel blog and it's all text, but this can be very powerful. If we have a lot of image and text, we would choose mixed. Chunky strategy, we keep paragraph, chunk size, and chunk overlap. Then the embedder. So in this case, I have used the one built-in and then we add our vector database. In this case, I have used the one from Vectorize, but we can bring our vector database like Pinecone or Superbase, and we can connect this here. And we can have a new vector database here and we have a lot of them. So Quadrant, PostgreSQL, Pinecone, etc. Same thing for the source connectors. We can have new source connectors here. And this is what we get once all the documents are loaded. And it's quite fast. As you can see, it took about 15 minutes. So here we have the initial load. All what happens while it was loading. It was crawling the page, writing the chunks, doing all what was in this document very fast and very easy. And here we have a rag sandbox and we can test our rag. So for example, which are the best place to surf in Portugal? Now we can see the retrieved context is searching and it shows us 
all the places he's searching, surfing camps in Portugal. And here we have the best place to surf in Portugal, in Cruderi Serra, so chunk one. And we have a link to the chunk. And then chunk two. So that's very practical because we can test our rag before using it. We can also use Vectorize to evaluate rags, even if we don't use it for our actual rag. And for that, we go here to rag evaluation. So we can make a new rag evaluation and here we can upload files and then it will evaluate the best strategy. But now what we want is connect our rag to NA10. For that, we go back to our pipeline and we go to connect here. And here we have an endpoint and we go there to curl. And in curl, we just copy that. We also need the token. So the token is here in the settings. Okay, in access tokens. So I have already created one and copied one. So with that, we go to NA10 and this is the workflow very simple that I have created. So we have a chat trigger, an HTTP request. And so in this HTTP request, this is the endpoint from Vectorize. This is a post request and this is your token. And here, we have the body. We get the body from the curl here. So question, number, result, and re-rank. Okay. And this is what we put here. And then we have an AI agent. And in this AI agent, I have a prompt. And I have used the tricks from Vectorize. So he put the question between these tags and also the documents between these tags. Then we attach a model here. So I'm using the brand new GPT for one nano that gives really good results. It's really fast and really cheap. And we just attach a simple memory. So now let's test it and let's see how the data is flowing. So I open the chat and I will ask what to do a weekend in Porto. Okay, planning a weekend in Porto is such a nice thing idea. Yeah, so I give you the personality of a travel agent, uh, but we can see that we have referrals. Okay, is Porto worth visiting? So okay, this is this is good. And what is interesting here is what is happening. So here we can see that is getting the chunks here. Okay, and let's see the data here. So here okay is getting the question from here the chat input and then into the agent here we get the question again and here the documents Okay, the documents are here. Okay, and we stringify them. And so we have all the context here. Okay, so this is how a chatbot should work. Fast, accurate, and with context and sending the user to the source of real data. So this is how you build a rack setup that actually works. Not in theory, but in the real world. We have covered how a rag takes to build if you want to do it seriously, how to handle all that with Vectorize, and how to connect it to NA10. In a future video, we will cover how to connect this to a front end. This is just the beginning. I'm creating a private AI builder community where you will learn to go from simple workflow to full stack application with support accountability and all you need. So if you are into this, hit the link below and give your email to get alerted when we will launch. And if this video was helpful, take a moment to subscribe, like, comment, and thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.